Welcome. In today's demo, I'm going to showcase Kubernetes native pipelines on Anthos GKE. The pipelines are built using a combination of tools from Google Cloud Platform and Argo to build a seamless container image build workflow. Now, on to the demo. CI-CD pipelines with Google Anthos and Argo. First, I'm going to describe the overall technology stack, then the workflow, and dive straight into a demo. The stack itself is made up of Argo events to receive webhook information and trigger off the workflows. Then we have Argo workflows, which is actually going to build our container image and push it into GCR. Then Argo CD, which is responsible for the application deployment itself into our Anthos GKE cluster. Then, of course, we have Anthos GKE our managed Kubernetes cluster in the cloud that's going to host our application. Anthos Service Mesh and Istio are going to drive ingress traffic into our application. And then Anthos Config Management is going to make sure that we've got a standard configuration for our cluster. Google Container Registry is going to host our image for consumption in GKE. The workflow itself is made up of three repositories. One is a source repository that hosts our Docker file and image source. Then we have our deploy repository that contains the Kubernetes manifests in order to roll out our application in GKE. Then we have our ACM repository that's responsible for standard cluster configuration. The workflow is effectively we're going to go and create a change in our uh, source repository. That source repository is going to trigger off an Argo event via a webhook, which is going to spin up our pipeline. The pipeline is then going to go and build our image from source and push it into GCR for consumption from GKE. Argo Workflows is then going to go and commit to a new branch in our deploy repository, altering the image tag, and then issuing a pull request for approval. Once we approve that pull request, Argo CD is going to pick up that change and roll out the new version of our application to the cluster. Now, let me show you the demo. So first off, we've got a GKE cluster here with four nodes. A standard GKE cluster, no different than any other, just happens to be uh, where we're going to host our application. Nothing special with this configuration. We've got various workloads running in our GKE cluster, Argo events, Argo, as well as Argo CD. Then we have Istio, the full stack of Istio deployed with Anthos Service Mesh. And we've got our application, our random Giphy application. First, we start off with our ACM repository. The ACM repository is responsible for rolling out standard cluster configuration. So we've got uh, standard things like application CRDs and everything required to roll out our components like Argo. Then we have our namespace scoped items in ACM. So these are the application specifics themselves. So things in Argo events, like the actual components required, including the web service. And then we have our webhook uh, virtual service. The webhook virtual service is what GitHub fires our webhooks into to allow Argo events to spin up our workflow. From here, we have our source repository. This is the repository that contains our Docker file and our application source. And this is our application. So right now we're showing a fails Giphy. And we're going to go ahead and change this Giphy to something else and then have our new version of our application spin up through the workflow and then watch this change get done in our cluster. Docker file itself is no different than any other Docker file, um, standard web app, nothing special there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to edit the index HTML. We're going to go and do this in line here, and we're going to change the Giphy type. And so in our case, we're going to change here from fails Giphy's to cars. Once we make this change, we're going to go ahead and commit the change into our Git repository. This can be done via either a change to master or we can commit it into a new branch. In our case, we're going to do a new branch here. We're going to call it something specific. doesn't really matter what we name it. Uh, and then we're going to make that file change in a pull request from GitHub. Once we have a pull request done, we can go and uh, review the pull request like we would any other pull request. So we can review the file changes made. In our case, we can click on the file changes and have a look at what changes were made to the file. We've changed our fails Giphy to cars Giphy, and so we're ready to go. We're going to go ahead and merge the pull request. Once we merge the pull request, this kicks off our first part of our workflow. The repository webhook will ensure that we've got a webhook that fires into Argo events. That Argo events webhook is what's responsible for kicking off the first part of our pipeline here. We can see the payload information being sent from our webhook into Argo events, and we're going to use that payload information for our pipeline. We can see now we have a pipeline that is kicked off. That kicked off pipeline has gone and built our new version of our image into GCR and done all the requisite changes to our deploy repo to make sure that we can approve the change and roll out the new version of our app. 
we have a look at our deploy repo, we can see a pull request that was created by the pipeline. We can then go and review this pull request just like any other pull request we would in Git. So in our case, we have the image name here, which is based off of the webhook payload information from our source repository. We can go ahead and review the changes to our deploy repo here. And in our deploy repo, we've got an image tag change. So we can see what the image tag difference is here. We can go ahead and merge the pull request, which will then now start to trigger Argo CD to roll out the new version of our application. We can see here, Argo has picked up the new version change via the Git webhook, and we can see the new version of the application now rolling out. From a GCP standpoint, we can now see that the version of the application is being rolled out, so we can see new pods spinning up, and the old pods will start terminating once the new version is online. Now we see Argo CD has spun up the new version of the app, and we can see the old one being torn down. The new version of our web app is now online. We can have a look at the history inside of Argo CD to see what changes were made to the application, so we always know what version of our app is rolled out. And now when we refresh our web page, we now see the new version of our application, which is our random cars Giphy. A refresh of the GCP console will show us that we only have the currently new version of our application pods running inside the cluster. And this concludes the demo for today. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest demos from the Arctic team. Thanks for watching.